man who strangled a Harris County mother to death with her own shoelace nearly three decades ago is now dead. Arthur Burton was sent, spent 26 years on death row for the murder of Nancy Adelman. ABC 13's Jessica Willey is in Huntsville tonight for his execution, new at 10. As Nancy Edelman's family looked on into the death chamber here at the Huntsville unit, Arthur Burton was put to death. There was little fanfare, few protesters, and no problems, according to TDCJ. After 27 years, Burton's sentence was carried out. As the execution neared at the Huntsville unit this evening, a series of processions from media witnesses to the family of the victim and finally Arthur Burton's brother, Burton convicted at 28, executed at 54. That's too long for any family to wait for justice. In July 1997, 48-year-old Nancy Edelman, a mother of three, headed out for a run along the bayou in northwest Harris County and never returned. Today, a large white cross marks a memorial where her body was found. She was badly beaten and partially clothed. Ten days later, Burton was under arrest in a confession he later recanted. He said he tried to rape her and strangled her with her own shoelace, but not before she forgave him, and that, her husband said, sounded like his wife. She would do that. She had very strong faith. Today, Mark Edelman with his son and Nancy's brother came to Huntsville to see the sentence for themselves. At the end, they did embrace. Hours earlier, the Supreme Court declined to intervene about recent claims by Burton's lawyers that he was intellectually disabled. Harris County District Attorney Kim Ogg was not surprised. 27 years later, he made that last ditch claim. His last statement included an apology, quote, I am sorry for putting you all through this, and then a cute warden, I am good. He was pronounced dead at 647. Edelman's family declined to comment. In this case, there's no question. Arthur Burton deserved what he got.